Hey, so sorry for not making a video in such a long time, but my laptop was broken again and I don't have a computer. So that's why I haven't been on YouTube lately. And I've got my laptop back last week on Monday evening, but I couldn't find this one little disc so I could actually put videos on my computer so I could edit them and stuff. I just found it, so now I'm making a video. And I'm going to talk about two films, haven't watched Invisible Man yet, but I will be reviewing Children of the Damned and The Hunger Games. Let's start with Children of the Damned, <clears throat> because that's actually on my list and The Hunger Games aren't. Children of the Damned is directed by Anton Leder. It's written by John Briley and John Windham Windham released on January 29th 1964 um, the film's about a scientist discovering um, six children who each have an enormous intelligence the, uh, the children all flown to London to uh, to be studied, but they each escape the embassy and govern a, a church. And what I thought about the film it was interesting, but uh, it got boring at some point. Um, it wasn't really scary. It's the the old kind of movies. It was black and white, and um, you might know that I'm not a fan of black and white films. But it was okay. But um, in our generation, the quality of films is just too high. If you watch an old film, you just won't like it that much because the quality isn't as good. Special effects aren't as good as they are now. Uh, I guess we're kind of spoiled generation. But um, I guess when this film got released, it was one of the, of the scariest. If I show this film to one of my friends, they'd probably fall asleep. Um, but I liked it. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. It was quite good actually. It just wasn't scary. It was really interesting. Uh, but be as a horror film, I'd rate it two out of five. For it being interesting and not that bad. 3 out of 5. So let's just make 2 and a half out of it, shall we? So, The Hunger Games. <clears throat> I'm just gonna use this paper thingy because I've got a headache and can't quite remember things I wanted to say. I'll just give my opinion on this. I won't give anything about the film. I'm not going to tell what it's about. I'm, well, maybe a bit, but I'm not going to tell who's director, who's starring, and and things like that, because I think everybody knows that it got released this year. So, <clears throat> um, I went on an internet movie database and looked through the reviews after I watched it. And I found this one review that um, actually was fitting me, kinda. So um, I wrote it down. I'm kinda just gonna read it out. So, um, well, as everybody knows, this film is called The Hunger Games. Um, they actually have to suffer and they have to fight for food, they have to kill each other. Um, but you don't really see anything about that in the film. Okay, you see a bit killing, but the almost half of the book is about just killing brutally and stuff. Y you just don't see that in film. <coughs> um, the fights, they had to be brutal, like it was in the book. Uh, the tension not uh, attention of them moving in an ar uh, arena was trying to kill them didn't exist in the film um, 
and you don't get the sense that pe uh, people in the other districts um, actually have to suffer and fight for food just like they do in district uh, 12 you actually don't even see that you just see some poor people in streets let's not forget the fact that Katniss did not buy the Mockingjay pin she got it from the mayor's daughter just to point that one out um, but you also don't see that the uh, other districts are linked in any way to the capital well the, the development of the film it was the movie was really slow there are some useless scenes and the important ones actually go really slow while the rest of uh, no wait other way around the film goes really slow um, and the important scenes go really really fast just like the ending which was quite disappointing because the ending was the most important thing for book two or film two in this case two and three because they they're gonna make four films out of it um, <clears throat> uh, about the camera and the director um, the camera was really really shaky uh, and they failed to portray uh, portray the suffering of participants the action or the fights uh, I hope they do some better work on the next one uh, well next three films because if they don't I won't watch them they need better director better screenplay and a better writer well not of the books I mean screen screenplay writer because Susan Collins did quite a good job well not that good at book three because she didn't really get the emotion and love things good in the book she's more of a um, how do you say that? Um, she's just better in writing fighting scenes and stuff like that. At least the actors were good, even though you don't link with the necessity of Katniss to win. I'd really just want to 